Yes, quint. Uh, and quince. Do you make jelly? No, I don't, but somebody else does. Yes, I give I them to. Oh, shall we get ours out and show you that one? Yes, we will. That's beautiful. But ours is not a red flower. It's yellow. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yes, it is. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, well, we could do that. Yes, I'll have a look. Oh, I think we must. Uh... Hello, kids. Yes, sir. Look, you don't have a backpack like this. Aren't you glad you waited? Mine's the old fashioned one. It's a battery pack, you see. Oh, yeah. But if it works. Yes, it works. That's what you want, isn't it? John took it skiing with him, you know, this camera, last year, and he kept leaving it on the wall by the restaurant, and his brother would say, camera, what about that? And John would go up to the top of the mountain to ski down, and he'd leave it there, hoping that somebody would nick it so he could claim on the insurance, no, you see. Did. And nobody ever nicked it, not once. They must be a very honest lot, these skiers, you know. Is that all going on the tape? Yeah, yeah. I'll, wipe, I'll wipe my voice later. Why? I sound like a man. <laughs> right, go and say cheerio to the lads then, and I'll follow you around with this. No, not Right, well, <coughs> give our regards no, to your mother. No, go on to say cheerio to the boys. Give our regards Two to your mother. You. Hmm? Well, I'll, I'm going to call by there. Tonight, no. maybe. Where? To Georgie? Yeah. No, I shan't I always feel a need yeah. to... Take her flowers. I usually send some every now and then in the spring. I know. She's pardon? Will she be in? Yes. 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 I'm sure she will. I don't let her know because no, I shan't. I get finished. That I said to Roland, if we have ten minutes after I've left then tonight, I haven't time now because I must get back. Right. I won't say anything, Daisy. I'll just pop round and I think she'd like to see him. It sounds crap as that I do it, but yeah. I must be loopy, I think. But nevertheless, I'm sure she'll like it and take her some flowers. Yeah. I'm sure she will. He has such energy, you know. I oh, know, he's brilliant for his he's age. He's absolutely fantastic. No one ever believes it again. I'll present you. Ready, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, I thought that was coming for the camera. <laughs> Good time, dear. Mm. Nice to see you, anyway. You're, you're very welcome. Thank you. We'll see you again sometime. Yes. When we come up. Yes. When we come up, Jane. See you in a year. Nelson, Please do, yes. Be nice to see you. See you in a year then. <laughs> well, it might be a year because it might be longer we're in Germany. We're going off there now to live. Say goodbye to uh, Harry for me. Well, so you're leaving to Germany for Germany, yeah? Pardon? I'm off, off to Germany tomorrow morning. No, Monday morning. Monday morning.
holiday, Hampton Court. Just arrived, there's my family. Mind out the way somebody wants to get in. Three special men in my life looking at the fountain. Wonderful. Excellent. Looking good. All right. Date twenty fourth of March, nineteen ninety. I'm where at Auntie Chris's for the golden wedding. Golden wedding. Auntie Chris has not been married fifty years. <laughs> no, we're going to a golden wedding tomorrow for Nan and Oh, goody. Today's anniversary. Both, both of you are wrong. Today's the twenty fourth. What's the? What are you doing, Luke? Yes, yes. No, I'm going to today. Yes, oh, it is. Today. And I'm making a lot of tea. be a good idea. I wish it did. Gosh, Joanne, you're gorgeous when you're on film. Well, you are anyway. Given that I, you know what this is like? No one ever eats bananas in this house when I find them. I thought you should do a banana split, but I find there's only three bananas left. John, I know. John and the Harry. I'm just feeling the proof. I'm giggling. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> She's lovely. I don't believe it. The battery's going flat. And she's filming us then. Um, Nana and Grandad. It's from Mrs. Gurney. It's Nana. Grandad. <laughs> Auntie Angie. <laughs> 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 Yes, please. Yeah. Nana's in the galley again. <laughs> Speech. <laughs> okay. It's a movie. Put it straight. Straight, you can. There you are. Because we're electric 
And um, I think mothers cope very well with both these competitors, mm -hmm. really. When you think about it, how much moving around Kent we saw. Um, but I think she coped so well with these competitors. She knew, first of all, I think, the value of her index link pension, Mum. And secondly, uh, she knew a Roma when she saw one. <laughs> 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 so, about Roma. Yeah. I'm not sure. Roma is a special magazine. Based on experience. And it goes all over Kent, I think, based on police experience. Well, we roamed all right. We roamed all over Kent, I I just made a list of where we'd been. I thought, I, I'm sure I haven't got them in the right order, but we, we started off in the Cathedral City of Canterbury. That's right, spiritual. Which was the <laughs> Canterbury City Police. And then we went to the orchards of Sittingbourne. That's right, two orchards. To the ozone of Folkestone. <laughs> and to the country smells of Tenterton. Uh, anybody who's been to Tenterton in the hot summer will know what I mean. <laughs> Then we went to the Royal Burrows, no less. And they, that was in We began to think we'd be our own neighbours. <laughs> and on one occasion, we did almost, didn't we? Because we were at Erridge Road. Yes. We went into one house in Erridge Road, moved off somewhere else, and then moved back into the one we'd seen them built while we lived in the first one. <laughs> and that's what had happened. And I think it must be a move of something like 14, 13, 16 moves. And finally, he went to Maidstone where at last he surrendered his whistle, mm. and whatever it is that please hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ready to retire. There's a truncheon. Yeah. Well, I told you the other day that they were doing away with whistles. It's a bit, something a bit less long, isn't it? A bit truncheon, eh? Well, no one, really, no man can move around. Really, without the commitment of a good wife to follow that up. Because unless your wife is with you when you want to make these moves to achieve your goals, you you just can't manage it. So I think special commitment to mum. 
yes. who was committed to dad in his job, and committed to a wonderful, to, <laughs> she was a wonderful mother, yes. to John, Andrew and myself, and we achieved, didn't we, what we wanted to achieve, <laughs> I think. Anyway, thank you for arranging such an enjoyable celebration for the lunch and everybody back here. And we congratulate you both on 50 wonderful years. I hope we all reach 50 wonderful years. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like you, if you would, just to toast my friend, their continued health and happiness. But um, one does, all, everyone here now realizes the natural consequences of one's acts. <laughs> Fifty years ago today, I carried Monica off down to Folkestone. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> he carried us. <laughs> yes. A long way. I lost it. That's why I got married. You know. <laughs> That's why I chose a light way. But we came down in the rain in the fall to Folkestone for a few days when the phoning war was on, and you know the result. The spread now of that picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate result. Yeah, this, the is, ultimate yeah. result. this is the result. Yeah, <laughs> and you'd never realise it. And if you said um, this would happen um, to us 50 years ago, we wouldn't believe it. We weren't part of your service then. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I delegate it. <laughs> you can delegate everything, though, didn't you? <laughs> 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 Whatever I did, I did. Whatever I did, I did well. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. And so we were blessed. Night, you, yeah. yeah. We were blessed with three <laughs> wonderful children. I didn't say anything else now because they're here. Yeah. <laughs> and looking round, three wonderful families have been created. I, I'd like to start again. <laughs> but I don't think I got the time. <laughs> but um, thank you for your, Better thank wait you for till your wonderful history. Yeah. Um, when you're 50 years married, you see a, a significance in everything you say and to go over the things that happened and all the blessings <coughs> that you've received and they're on the out the way dear you ought to think <laughs> he never took any notice and he's never taken any notice <laughs> and i thought well that's a good thing i'll try and do the same thing with her and that's why we've never quarreled in 50 years uh, <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Little drink and our best man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. My best man. My best man. My best man. That's my best man. I'm going to hold on shove them in it. Like, fuss and nonsense about everything. You know, the sort of real sort of tough country types with the green um, anorak type, you know, the green. Um, what do they call it? Body warmer. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Oh, 
We better make get out. Quick, we're a runner. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Please, please, please. Just take it out the poll tax. Tell him. Embarrass him enough. Bring him in here. Tell him to take it out the poll tax. We're paying for him. Yeah. Where's they wouldn't bring those doctor ideas down here? <laughs> we'll put them on your poll tax, it's all right, you know. <laughs> Can you go and put those in water, darling? <laughs> in the kitchen. Now. Yeah. Harry. <laughs> Shut the door, Frida's getting cold. Luke, shut the door, please. No, they're all right. It doesn't exactly get very many. It's isn't it? Sure, I'll start at the store. John, shut the door, Frida's getting cold. Yeah, I mean, we're not very good. I mean, I'm not a great guy. I don't really like it. I just like flowers. But I bought a few seeds and stuff, so I'll just try those in and hope for the best. I've had sweet peas in, but I've done loads and you have to put your stuff in. It's uh, November the 4th, 1990. William's eight, nine in a few days. Harry was four last week. Can I keep the picture of me? Yes, darling, of course you can. Keep it forever. Yes, keep it forever. Smile at me then. That's lovely. The old sweets going on this afternoon. Another pile of rubbish there.
there's lots of twigs in there and we moved it right over there. Did you? Yeah. That'll tangle it. Up. It's on the last bit of the mountain. The bonfire. Film the highest bit of the mountain. Can I film a bit? See what's happening? No. Yeah. No. I'll film some more tonight. Roundhouse kick! Yeah. 
that Richard, you want to go? Um, yeah, I'm going to stand, I'll do my He'll never get you, you'll be going too far. Get out of the way when you're going. <laughs> it's 
you don't want us to do play. Bang. Where's he gone? He's lost him. He's in the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go rescue Harry. Excuse me. Mm. Is that yours? Um, one, two, three, four. I don't think so, no. It belongs to somebody else. Sweet. You're doing stuck in the barbed wire. Where are we going? No. Why not? Because it's not a toy for children. He's 14 this month, 28th. I'm having my lunch. Say what? I say I'm having a drink on my lunch. Oh. <laughs> 
closer look then. This is what? Have a closer look. <laughs> this, is the, this is the Gurney masterpiece. Isn't he lovely? Me, the bump. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get him out, do you, John? No. <laughs> yeah. I like the <laughs> You got anything to say, Georgie? Apart from give us a drink? And uh, not a dark. Horrid, isn't it, when people do it to you? Mm -hmm. Who's Where do you talk to you about? Uh, Mum's hair when she's from Bouncing Castle. Oh. I'll get you on, John. You're the only one that's not camera shy. Oh, right. No. Hang your bomb here. Swiftly, Everybody yeah. get dizzy when they watch my filming, yeah. Nigel. Imagine, yeah. What's black in the lawn? Hi. John, how much? Eight um, uh, or what? Measurement is this? Probably uh, standard. Must be an eight. One eight. Uh, one eight. Yeah. Only I saw a house in the paper. This week, it just got tired. Did we find that for that was enough. Right. Yes, you did. Tom's going and flash some more people. Sorry, Peter! Sorry. It's alright if this um, red, red 
make sure it gets um, wet. wet. Yes. Actually, you could have a swimming pool. Here, you? Yeah. You could have a couple of Sauna, three past three. Where? Right. Garden. That garden. Let's move that off. The trouble is, you can't have your things when you want them. I mean, when you're young, if you could sink a swimming pool and have a roof on the top, all well and good. By the time you can afford it, you don't have that one. No, the kids have grown up and moved in.